This is the Anchor Prime 240 watt power bank with wireless charging base. This is the largest power bank you can get from Anchor right now with over 27,000 milliamp hours and it can charge three devices with two USB-C ports and one USB-A port with up to 250 watts of power output. This thing has power delivery 3.1 and you can charge it in just 37 minutes by using both USB-C ports on the top for 170 watt fast charging. What can I say? I like big batteries and I cannot lie. You can also get the Anchor app to see how long it will charge certain devices, how many times it can charge them, and even have your power bank make a sound so you can find it in your house or lost in a bag. But the Anchor Prime power bank really shines when you get this 100 watt wireless charger that will charge with these pogo pins and gives you two USB-C ports and a USB-A port to charge other devices from the base. It actually may replace my current Anchor charger on the desk, but I'll get to that in a second. In the box, you get the 27,000 milliamp hour power bank, a USB-C cable, and a nice little carrying pouch for everything too. Now this thing is deceiving. It's pretty compact, but it is definitely dense. You feel the heft. There's a button on the side which controls the screen, and you have the two USB-C ports and USB-A port on top pogo pins on the bottom if you want to charge it with that 100 watt base. Now I really like this screen on the front. It'll tell you how long it's going to take to charge when it's on top of the wireless charging bank. And when you plug in a device, it will tell you how long this battery can last charging in its current state. If I plug in my full on MacBook Pro to the power bank, which it can charge multi devices, it'll then tell you based on the amount of power this thing is sending to other devices, this is how long it can last now. Now once the iPhone were to fully charge, this would actually go up because it wouldn't be outputting as much energy as it is now. You can also see all this information in the app, which I'll show you in a second. Clicking the button once, you can actually toggle through multiple menus, and then you can double click to actually control it. You can turn on or off the Bluetooth if you don't want to waste that energy, but having it on is helpful because you can connect to the app and then have it make a sound. Here it'll tell you the battery health, which is 100%, and the current temperature of the device. Click again and I can set the auto screen timeout all the way down to 30 seconds or up to 30 minutes if I want to see the data on screen. I can also change the screen brightness from medium to high double click and you can change the menu. And you'll see here on the main screen, it's also telling you the amount of wattage going out per USB-C port. I'm not using the USB-A port right now, so that's at zero. My MacBook Pro is actually already charged and it's not sipping power right now, but to my iPhone, you'll see the 27 watts going out. Now, if I unplug my iPhone, now only my MacBook Pro is connected and you'll see it jumped up to 99 hours. That's because my MacBook Pro is not pulling any power from the battery right now. So that's where you get those hours and minutes. Now let's say I wanted to charge both my iPhone and my iPad, which is at about 50% right now. Just the iPhone, you'll see I have about two hours and 11 minutes remaining at this current output. Plug in the iPad and you're gonna see that time drop now. You see 27 watts is currently going to the phone, four and a half watts currently going to the iPad. Now how many watts you're getting from each port really depends on the amount of devices you have connected. So here on Anchor's website, you can see with single port charging, you get 140 watts from any USB-C port or 65 watts from the USB-A port. If you have two devices plugged in, you still get 140 watts out of the first USB-C and you can still get 100 watts from the second. Again, you can combine and mix and match over the various ports. And if you have all three USB ports plugged into this power bank, you get 140 still from the first USB-C 92 from the second, and 18 from that USB-A port. And just to compare the power brick that came with my new M3 Pro MacBook Pro, this is the 96 watt power brick. So this power bank is delivering more wattage than even the wall charger that I get with my MacBook Pro. Now things get even more interesting when you download the Anchor app and pair your power bank over Bluetooth to the app. Here you get the same data that's shown on screen. You can see the total amount of output wattage, which is 31 right now. And if I go to number of charges available, I can actually input devices manually, like my 14 inch MacBook Pro. You tell it the battery capacity of the device. For my 14 inch MacBook Pro, it's 69.6 watt hours. What the battery health is of the device, which right now it's 100, I just got it. And it will tell you it can charge my 14 inch MacBook Pro 50% if I were to start charging right now and the laptop was at zero. I did the math on my other Apple devices and now that the power bank is at 61%, it could charge my iPhone 15 Pro Max two and a half times and my 12.9 inch iPad Pro almost once. It's at 0.9 times right now. Also, it only allows a certain amount of characters here. That's why I squished up the 15 and the Pro. Don't at me. Nice graphical representation of the power bank here. And if I go into the settings, I have a couple different options for what the screen looks like on the front. I can actually have it show voltage and amperage, or I can hide that with theme one. I'll change the device screen. You'll see it update in the background. Here I can actually choose to optimize the charging of the power bank so it'll charge a little slower. Hopefully that will extend the life of the power bank. It'll charge slower till about 6 a.m. and then it'll charge fully as fast as it can, repeat every day. And you can also optimize the charging going out to other devices. 
You can actually choose for Bluetooth to automatically turn on and connect to your phone at certain times of the day. Maybe if you're traveling, this would be useful. Make sure that Bluetooth is on when you need to find it. And if you do want to find the device, there is a find device option here, and it will make a sound when you start pinging it. It's not super loud, but hopefully you can find it in a bag or somewhere in your house. For a long time, I've had this Mophie 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack, and I really liked it. It only had one USB-C port and two USB-A, which I wasn't crazy about, really trying to go all USB-C. And this thing has served me well. It also has a button on the side where you can press and see the battery level right there. It's four dots, not super precise, but it was enough. But going forward, I love to see the exact percentage on here, how much it can charge my devices, how fast. And I love being able to see how fast this is gonna to take to charge to 100%. Now, as soon as you plug it in and start charging it, it's gonna tell you how long it'll take to 100%. Right now it's only 40 minutes and it's about 60% now. And you'll actually just see this percentage go up constantly as soon as you plug it in. And what's cool is if I wanna lessen that time even more, and if I plug in a second USB-C source, I just plugged in about a 60 watt charger, You'll see there's the 60 watts coming in on that port, another 60 coming in on the other, and now under 20 minutes and this thing will be fully charged. And again, you can use up to 170 watts of charging across those two USB-C ports to charge this thing from zero to 100 in 37 minutes. Now, when I posted a photo of this on social media, someone mentioned, can you travel with this? Will they allow this on a carry-on on an airplane? Thankfully, Anchor actually says on their website, that it's 99.54 watt hours, which is just under the 100 watt hour requirement for the TSA here in the United States. And you can always check your individual airline here on the Delta website. They actually allow a maximum of 160 watt hours per battery. So technically you could take this and a second power bank, even an identical one, and you'd be good to go. This is under 100 watt hours, and so you should be fine to take it in your carry-on on any airline here in the States. But where the Anchor Prime lineup really shines is with this 100 watt charging base with the Pogo Pin wireless charger. I really love this thing. It has the figure eight power cable in the back and it comes with it in the box. It has a nice little indicator on the front to let you know when it's charging. And it has those two USB-C and USB-A port on the side so you can charge other devices in addition to the battery. Now, in case you were wondering, I did place this on the battery pack and then try to charge another device out of the power bank. It won't let you do that. When the power bank is charging on this 100 watt charger, you can't use any of the power bank's ports. Anchor's 100 watt charging base is also a GAN charger, which is why it's so low profile. Now, if you were to plug multiple devices into the base, the wattage of each port will definitely vary widely. If you're just placing the power bank on those pogo pins, you get a full 100 watts of charging to the power bank. You can also use one of the USB-C ports. Make sure to use the one with the little laptop icon there. And you can get 100 watts out of that USB-C port. The secondary USB-C port is 30 and the USB-A is 22 and a half plug in two devices to this charging base, things get pretty complicated. Three devices, even more so. And when you look at the four port charging, Anchor is just like, listen, you get 100 watts, figure it out. And not only does this make it convenient to charge the power bank, but I love having these ports, especially on a desk. I work with a lot of devices. I'll have my iPad on here, iPhone, my MacBook Pro, and having accessible USB-C ports right on the desk, just super convenient. Now I've had this other Anchor MagSafe charger, which you can charge your phone on the front via MagSafe, and it has straight up outlets on the back. It actually has three full outlets, two USB-Cs and two USB-As. I really love this charger and I'm probably gonna keep it for that MagSafe convenience. But if you don't already have some open USB-C ports ready to charge your devices on your desk, this charging bank, is pretty great, even just for those features. But if you're getting Anchor's power bank, those pogo pins and this wireless charging, really cool. And the magnets are pretty strong. This thing's not coming off. Whoa, spoke too soon. Shake it hard enough, definitely comes off. But it should just be sitting on your desk, so you're fine. Now the 100 watt charging base from Anchor is $70 and the Anchor Prime 250 watt multi-charger is 180. There are different sizes of the Anchor Prime power banks. For instance, you can get a 20,000 milliamp hour for $130, and that still has the pogo pins on the bottom. And you can get the sub $100 12,000 milliamp power bank. This still works with that wireless charging base, and it still outputs up to 130 watts of power. The smallest version has two USB-C, and then the middle and largest versions have those two USB-Cs and one USB-A ports. So if you travel a lot or your work has you outside in a lot of places where there's not power, having a power bank like this is so key. You can charge your MacBook Pro, your iPad, your iPhone, and other USB-C devices. Maybe you're running a mirrorless camera. Plug the USB-C port into one of these power banks and you have charging there as well. And it's just under that limit where you can take it on a plane and not get in trouble. But if you were on an international flight, you could charge all your devices plenty of times to get across whatever ocean watching entertainment on your iPad or iPhone. I'll put links to all three sizes of these Anchor Prime power banks down in the video description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna be doing an accessories roundup for my new M3 Pro MacBook Pro, so subscribe to the channel. You don't wanna miss that. 
hit that like button. And if you're looking for my top accessories for the iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, check out this video above. Or if you're looking to get into shortcuts and maybe you want a Shortcuts 101, seven easy shortcuts that you can build right now, check out this video right here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.